man Cause no work on time Every day and he crying for the raise Boss say he got a Got a wife he don't even really like And a house that's way overpriced But he still got a What's up fools, I'm DK from the Supermo Fools and welcome to the DRZ build episode number 5. So the previous episode was to show you all the cool parts that we got for the DRZ build. Besides the parts, we also showed you all the powder coated stuff. But what we didn't show you, because we didn't receive them yet, were the custom league powder coated grizzly wheels. And all I can say, they look fucking amazing. Let me show you. Kidding! Oops. As you can see, they look amazing. I hope they do as look as good as on the video as they do in real life because bam. The hubs are black, the spokes are black, the nipples are also black, and the rim is skinny red. Man, could no work on time every day and he crying for the raise. Boss say he got a got a wife he don't even really like in a house that's way overpriced, but he still got a so, now that you've seen the cool wheels by Grizzly Wheels, I'm gonna start building the bike. I'm first gonna add the subframe, then the engine, and then the swing arm. At the moment I'm doing the filming solo, normally we do it together, but now I'm just gonna use the GoPro, the GH4. I'm just gonna set it up somewhere and make like a time lapse or something. Uh, I'm just gonna try to film as much as possible for you guys. So, let's go! This is a DRC radio hose kit. It's red, I like it. Uh, the valve cover was already red. Uh, I'm not sure if it's maybe gonna be too much red. Well, if the bike's finished, I can always just get it off and just change the color. It's not that hard. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it red, so. So I almost forgot the chain, but luckily I just saw it so I can put it in. to hit the frame so I'm just gonna use a tool check the other side again stupid stupid me I think I'm 
made a mistake. It should have been the other way around. I think it's time for me to go home and take a lunch. Just take a break, up my energy up, and I sort of go. Ford power, yo! back from lunch before I went to lunch I made a mistake of putting it on in the wrong hole now I've taken it out and uh, now I'm just gonna put it back in again I'm gonna loop it this is the FCR 39 flat side carburetor um, I had it before we're just gonna reinstall it uh, already installed the airbox sometimes it can take really a lot of time because it's so small and everything uh, but hopefully it goes smooth so the carburetor is in, now we're gonna tighten everything. Uh, but the next thing we're gonna do is get the spring in, the shock absorber. So, I've just finished putting up all the bolts for the linkage system, for the suspension. It was actually quite easy. Let's set up the subframe, see if everything fits, and get the airbox connected again with the carburetor. Hey, what the hell? It's a brand new MX470 LS2 helmet. That looks really cool. Hope it's gonna work with the DWS decals, but that's still a secret. Okay, that's that. So let's install some parts on the front side. So let's take a small break and play some piano. And also this is the rear brake clevis. With this you can adjust the height of the pedal. And we also got a new pedal. This is the old one. So this one looks a lot better. And now we're gonna install the new DRC motor foot pegs. I used to have these ones. But these ones are a lot nicer because you have this cushion underneath. When you fall on the track, you don't damage the track. Okay, let's install them. So we just finished installing the DRC foot pegs. They retract really nice. Now we're gonna go install the side stand. In episode two, you saw us grinding this down and cutting it off. So we could have a higher angle for the side stand. Normally it's like this, I think. And now it's gotta be like this. So it looks quite nice, just like all the KDMs and Husqvarna's have. What's up fools, we are now at the end of episode 5. Uh, we already did a lot of stuff as you can see, but still certain things are missing. We now put the wheels in, but the tires are missing. I ordered these today, so it's gonna be next week. We are also missing all of the plastics. Uh, DWS decals is making something really nice. That's still a surprise for you guys. Also, of course, for me, because I haven't seen it in real life. I just only saw the computer drawings or renderings. So I still gotta do the wiring loom, the tail light, the front light, speedometer, and the blinkers. Be sure to check out the next episode because then we're gonna tune this oil boat on the dyno. I hope it's fast, but I don't know. It's still a DRZ, you know. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And see you next time.